Red Wings hosting the Sabres, and the Sabres are plus 115. On the money line, the Red Wings are minus 138. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Sabres getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 205, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Red Wings laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 168, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. They played each other three times this season. The Red Wings won the first one 5-3 in Buffalo. The Sabres won the next one 7-3 in Buffalo. And the Red Wings won the next one 4-1 in Detroit. The goalies are supposed to be Lyon and Lukanen. Lyon has been confirmed. Lukanen has not. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five five against each other. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying goals is 5-5. Five five. There have been four one-goal games in their last 10. The over is 6-4, six and four, and the over 6.5 is 6-4 and four as well. Uh, two out of the three games they played this year went over 6.5, and, and there was no one-goal games between them this year. The Sabres are 3-1 and one in their last four. Seven goals, three goals, eight goals, six goals. Five goals and a win, shutout and a loss, six goals and a win, and then four goals and a win. For the Red Wings, they are 1-5 and five in their last six. Four goals, five goals, six goals, and seven goals. Shutout and a loss, two goals and a shootout loss, four goals and a win, and then three goals in a loss. I will take the Red Wings with the money line. I'll take the Red Wings laying the goals, and I'll go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly. Don't forget to join the Discord. The link is in my bio. It'll give you exclusive access to my daily stats, my best bets, the games I bet on. If you have any questions, just ask them in there.